Hey everyone, Thornton here, and today we're going to be talking about how Power World, even though it has lost a fair amount of its player base, might have a solution to bring all those players back, and it involves the Nintendo Switch 2, PS5, and so much more. So without further ado, we're actually just going to jump into today's topic. Let's talk about it. Power World has seen a ton of success since its early access launch on PC and Xbox, and it's been nothing short of extraordinary. Within a mere three days, the game surpassed 5 million sales, which just shows how crazy this game is in terms of popularity, its immense appeal, and what the power of an indie studio that wants to make a good game can do. Look at you, Game Freak. However, its exclusivity to Xbox console has left PlayStation and Nintendo enthusiasts waiting to hear if this game will ever come to their platform. And there have been some recent interactions on social media that has fueled speculation about Power World's potential expansion. Shui Yoshida, a key figure at PlayStation's parent company, Sony, actually expressed interest in bringing Power World to the PS5 in response to enthusiastic fan inquiries. And why wouldn't you? It's just a ton of money that your platform can bring in. And while this exchange hints at a possible PlayStation release, no official announcements have been made yet. What's important to know is that even though this is technically on Microsoft right now, Microsoft has been bringing games over to the PlayStation as they want to go ahead and sell more copies. And if Microsoft bought Pocket Pair, it would be likely that they would once again also launch this title on other platforms. On the other hand, however, the possibility of coming to Nintendo Switch remains fairly uncertain. There's a family-friendly image at Nintendo, and there's also, you know, some concerns about the game's use of guns that has led to speculation that it might not align with the company's brand identity, but I think overall it could still work. It's not a Nintendo property, it's just a game on the Switch, and so I don't think it having guns would be that big of a deal. Not to mention the unprecedented success of Power World in the evolving landscape of gaming preferences could actually prompt discussions about that Nintendo port, especially as they have not gone ahead and done anything in terms of a takedown despite numerous fan requests to do so, which I don't think will ever happen. There really isn't a copyright infringement case here, but regardless, let's move on. Because the timing of Power World's potential release on console like the PS5 or Nintendo Switch is pretty crucial for maximizing its impact and capitalizing on those markets market trends. As some of you might have known, Power World has lost 84% of its player base. It's still a massively played game, by the way, but it's going to need more than just Xbox and PC to stay afloat in terms of competition. And that brings us to the upcoming release of the Nintendo Switch 2, which is rumored to launch in March of 2025 with recent reports. And it presents an intriguing opportunity for Power World to make a huge splash. Now, the launch title for this new console is rumored to be Pokemon Legends Z to A, and that would be the perfect time to have some in-game market competition to see who is really going to be the next Mon game of the next 10 to 15 years. That being said, I don't think Pokemon's going anywhere, but it could create some interesting synergy in an environment for Power World's debut on other consoles, along with Pokemon still showing that it's the reigning champ. There's actually several benefits by having these launched at the same time. Firstly, it would leverage the heightened anticipation surrounding new console releases. At the end of the day, Nintendo is going to want to move more units of its console than it is going to want to move a video game. Not to mention, drawing attention to Power World as a must-have title for the latest gaming hardware could be pretty interesting. Imagine walking around and playing Power World on your Switch. Secondly, the thematic contrast between Pokemon Legends Z to A and Power World could cater to more diverse gaming preferences that would expand the appeal of the Nintendo Switch 2 as a versatile gaming platform. It makes more sense the more you think about it. Additionally, the success of Pokemon Legends could pave the way for Power World's acceptance on the Nintendo Switch. It would demonstrate that the platform can accommodate a variety of gaming experiences while maintaining its core values. That's something Nintendo would really like to do along with, you know, lining its pockets. The strategic positioning would not only enhance the market reach of Power World, but also contribute to the overall growth of the Nintendo Switch ecosystem, which is what you want to do on a launch. Overall, though, the potential release of Power World on consoles like the PS5 or Nintendo Switch could be a significant opportunity for the game to reach a whole new audience and get even more players and more content updates as the game continues to sell. If you strategically align its release with key developments in the console market, particularly the launch of the Nintendo Switch 2 and Pokemon Legends, Power World can synergize and capitalize on everyone's evolving gaming preferences. We'll have to wait and see, but I would really hope that this is something that comes to fruition, and we'll just have to see how all this unfolds. Let me know down below, would you like to see Power World on the Nintendo Switch 2? What other platforms do you think it would do well on, such as the PS5, or do you think it should remain an Xbox Microsoft exclusive? Also, if you guys want more news on video games, check out my other videos right here, where I cover anything about everything that you guys want to know about the current gaming market. And until next time, everyone, thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next video.